Uh, Ollie, welcome to Australia. How are the first few days going for you? Yeah, they've been uh, very good. Moved into a house with uh, a couple of boys from North Wales, RGC, so settling in okay. It's good. been tough, tough first few days with fitness and stuff, but enjoying it so far. It's an unusual route that you've taken to South Wales. Uh, do you mind talking us through your journey? Yeah, well, basically when I finished school, um, I went on tour with my with my school to South Africa and played five games over there and I was picked up by one of the academies, the Curry Cup academies, uh, so they offered me a contract, joined them for the year, played Curry Cup under 19s, that was for Border Bulldogs and then I came back and I'd been hearing from RGC in North Wales uh, with Rupert Moon, he was emailing me whilst I was in South Africa, so uh, I went down and trialled there, thought it was a good setup, really good development uh, region. So I joined them, played games in the championship, and from there I was lucky enough to play for Wales in the 20s in the last game of the Six Nations, and then go over to New Zealand for the World Cup. And off the back of my games there, I think here I'm at Ospreys. That's quite a journey for such a young man and quite an achievement after only a few months in Wales to establish yourself as the first choice at six for Wales in the Junior World Championship so you must be proud of that. Yeah I'm really pleased with uh, the way things went when I got back. I've just worked really hard in the gym, got my weight up, got the fitness good and concentrated on the easy things when I was playing and it all came into place. And that's definitely not a Welsh accent that we can hear there so you're, you're a Yorkshire man born and bred but where does the Welsh connection come from? Uh, it's from my mum's side. My granddad was from Llanelli, who was called uh, Di Davis. But yeah, so so I've uh, come using uh, using that background. And have the coaches had a chat with you since you arrived about what they want to see from you now this season as an Osprey? Yeah, I think add another dimension maybe to what they've got in the back row, a bit heavier than maybe some of the other sixes. So hopefully I can get make a, an impact in training and put, maybe put in some big hits or whatever it is to, just to get my name name out there. It's a case of trying to make a big impression on the training ground on the players as well as the coaches. Yeah, definitely just focus, I'll keep my head down. But in training, try and just really push and uh, compete for, for a place, hopefully. You've got some familiar faces around with you as well. You've mentioned the North Wales boys that you're sharing a house with, Morgan and Thomas. Good to have them around to help you settle. Yeah, definitely. I know the both of them from uh, from RGC and a bit younger than me, so you know, it's uh, no, it's good. They've helped me get to know the area and stuff, so yeah, it makes it a lot easier. You're the boss of that household, being the oldest then. <laughs> I don't know yet, but we'll see. We'll see. And of course, from the Wales under 20s experience, there's six or seven familiar faces there as well to help you settle. Yeah, it's been a massive help having you know, the Nickies and Scott Otten and Rory and Dalv. Those, I think it was those five who were in World Cup, I know them quite well now, so it really does help a lot when you're just moving somewhere new. And of course, you'll be well aware that the sun always shines like this in Australia, so it's a nice place to be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's hope the weather stays like this for a while. Could get used to it.